Today we're going to be talking about two mechanisms. The first one being this ratchet mechanism and the second one being this ball detent mechanism. If you're new here, my name is Aaron and I'm an engineering student who likes talking about mechanisms here on YouTube. If that sounds interesting, make sure you go subscribe. This is the ratchet mechanism. And as you can see, it can only rotate in one direction. That is called being unidirectional. And it's especially useful for applications such as ratchet wrenches that need tightening and cranking with ease of use. When designing these types of mechanisms, you wanna use something with some elasticity to it. Now that could be with the use of springs, however, it could also be with the use of plastic itself. Now I designed these three arms with a certain level of thinness and an acute angle at this elbow part right here. By doing these two things, I managed to make a bending motion possible without breaking the actual arms. And those are some important tips you wanna consider if you wanna make a ratchet mechanism like this with the elasticity of plastic itself. Now let's take a look at this ball detent mechanism. This guy also rotates in small increments However, it has a bidirectional rotation, meaning that it can rotate both clockwise and counterclockwise. That's because unlike the ratchet mechanism, there's no parallel surfaces that cut each other off. It's just a steel ball that slides under these rounded edges. Here are the components that I used to design this mechanism. So there's a steel ball, a few 3D printed components, and a spring right here. So how I assemble this is I simply put this spring right into this hole and following it I put this steel ball in there. Then I lock the steel ball in place with this small little piece right here. Now that the steel ball's finally locked in we can slide it onto this outer piece and we just lock it back in place with this small component right here and the mechanism is assembled. Both of these mechanisms have their place in the engineering application world. However, if you're trying to make a ratchet wrench or some other device that's one directional, then you should consider designing a mechanism like this one, the ratchet mechanism. However, if you're designing a device that needs to incrementally rotate in the clockwise and counterclockwise direction, then I recommend that you look at this ball detent mechanism. And that is ratchet mechanisms and ball detent mechanisms. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to purchase one of these super sick, awesome chess boxes for yourself, make sure you check the link in the description. Goodbye.